Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian Report for the 16th of February. We'll look at the quickly look at the ASX and then we'll have a look at um, uh, copper and BHP and FMG and Rio. Um, so with this um, ASX 200 here on the hourly chart, not a lot of change, um, but positive change. We've been looking at uh, an A and a B and a C wave here and the market's pushing off nicely and not only is it pushing off nicely if you've got a keen eye we've got basically one and two in here nice strong third wave here a fourth wave here and going up for the fifth wave here now i haven't pulled that apart there may be one more little push into the six nine area and then we could look at that as wave one and then pulling back for wave two here this is the 50 60 percent retracement level if the market touches the six nine uh, area and then we'll see further upside so with that further upside we'll be looking at uh, well wave three that will probably take us to um, uh, 7,000 and then that will be part of this wave three here with wave four so we'll need wave four we'll just copy this one here and we'll copy this one and that will take us up into this space so we'll be looking somewhere up up here and then we've got wave four here uh, and then wave five so still a bit of a journey to be had here but as always we'll be uh, taking caution but uh, from this low of wave four here we have one two three four five because we've got five waves here that means after an abc correction we'll get another five um, so we really need to put that into uh, into a five wave structure so yeah we're moving up uh, you may be long over here or in other places uh, you may be long here that we talked about yesterday i'm just going to leave the stop out of the way here because of this um, retest here but it will be a good opportunity just to um, uh, also move back in here as well uh, on the b wave top here so this will be an a and a b and a c wave here and that three wave price action so we'll see if we can actually pick that up if not we'll build in on six nine but we should see the market sort of uh, chuff along here a little bit because we're in the third wave of the green one here and the third wave of this one so the third of the third so we should see this once we've got support here uh, because this will be wave one here and back for wave two and then up for one and back for two so then we'll be in the third of the third so that's where markets can have little gaps and so on so that should be pretty exciting and should put us in in nice stead at that point i also want to bring in the australian dollar and just in a conservative view as well um, it's likely that we'll see it push up to the 80 in this case um, but steady she goes normally we get wave three uh, across the uh, previous high area through here so that normally makes wave four a little bit complicated in this case so we'll look at this as one and two here then one and two and three and four and going up for five here so we're likely to see some type of uh, corrective pattern through here if you want to hang in for that well then uh, you'll get that move there now I could expand this wave count out as well but I'll just do it uh, conservatively uh, through here we're in currently we're in group two so group two is 65 72 and 80 here so that's sub group there and then we've got a um, major level up here which is the eight here for that uh yeah i can't see this wave count as i've got it sort of pushing up to the eight here but um uh this large number here will likely like to pull it higher we'll definitely be going higher than wave three it's just how far we'll go but i think we'll get to the eight i just don't have a wave count that will get me there just yet so we'll probably have to expand this out a little bit but that's okay we'll just stay long um yeah so I've moved the stop from down here and put it uh, just above break even, so that's all good there. So we'll leave that uh, there in that instance. Um, <clears throat> so I want to I want to have a look at that commodity index again, and then I want to compare that to copper, and then I want to compare that to BHP. Okay, so uh, just bear with me a second here. Um, so this is the commodity index that we were looking at yesterday and I should just put the date and price in there. So yeah, as I talked about yes yesterday, we were looking at, well, I hadn't put wave three there, but uh, wave four here and an A and a B and a C and a D for E and it's been going back 
since the GFC days. So a long-term uh, triangle pattern correction. And then we're looking for five waves to move up through here. So as I may have mentioned yesterday, uh, I'm not sure if I did, but um, you know, <clears throat> what uh, impact will that have on uh, I indices? What will it have on, on stock? Uh, and what type of stock, uh, and so on and so on. So, um, yeah, so we'll we'll keep continue to break it down, but today I'm just going to have a look at, um, uh, compare this commodity index, well, the, just this little trend in here, to uh, copper, and then we can sort of relate that to BHP and that as well. So... Yeah, so this is a weekly chart here. So if I just go to the daily chart. So today I was also looking at the S&P 500 in this count too, like labeling it like this here for the S&P. I mean, it would be not, I mean, it looks like a third wave up here and maybe it is, it's one and two and three and four and five up here just for one and back for two again as well. So I'll need to work through that, but I'm happy the way it is uh, so far. I do need to pull this apart here, but I have pulled this apart here in the um, copper market. So let me find that. So this is a daily chart for copper. So it's got the same low down here in the March, April low. And I'd counted, well, I haven't changed it, but I counted this up here for one and two here. And then I've been counting this one here. Now, um, I, I have to go back over this again because I've got wave one and two here, but it may just be this wave four here that's sitting in here. And this may be wave five sitting up here as well. So of of one at that point. So I just need to I need to sort of go back over that a little bit. So what I was thinking of doing is I'll break this down here and work out what this is here. And that means that um, that means here what I need to do here is I need to figure out I need to figure out the five wave structure within this space here. And once I've got the five waves here and we can cap the top off here, now it would pull back normally, you know, in some sort of little correction here and then move off. But if it is this wave five or wave one here, well, then we're going to have a deeper correction in, in here across the eight here. And then we'd have to look at this as the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level and then the ABC correction. So if we looked at this at the 8,000 across here on the index, we've had the arrival, the reaction, and now we're going into the first high above the level. So I'm wondering if we get this because that's what I'm kind of waiting for before I want to really call in and put, um, you know, cook, um, with BHP and so on and, and move in. So, but what, I mean, this, when you look at that bigger picture, there's plenty of time to go um, it's just it'd be nice to get this uh, uh, right as well here so so um, yes I need to pull this apart once those five waves are finished here it'll either pull back a little bit and then move up and if that's the case then I can remove that there and I can copy that here and uh, then we can go along from that point and then build in quite rapidly through through this space if it's going to pull back here as an ABC pattern here as a wave two and then move up, well, then we, you know, then we need to, you know, manage that, and that means that we'd need to look at it, you know, coming back in over here or or moving down here depending on the pattern and so on. So the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, and the corrective move, and then move in. So I need this to play out here. That's guess of what I'm really trying to say. I had that long trade there. That was really just to trigger in BHP and all those sorts of things, you know, which we have a few positions in. So now uh, we'll now that. So we know that that commodity index, that Goldman Sachs commodity index, um, has got the same pattern as this market here. So this is also how we could count BHP and Rio and so on as well with wave one here and two here and one here and two here. Uh, yeah, so I think it's all pretty exciting stuff, but I just need to nail it down a little bit further, okay? Um, when we look at... Uh, well, we 
go to the Australian BHP first. <coughs> See, originally I had this here as one and two and three and four and five in here for one and two, and I'm kind of okay with that. Then we got this sort of long move in here. I thought, well, uh, that's good for this particular move as 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 a uh, wave, not wave one. I can remove that there, um, having this back here, uh, this top one here as wave one here, and the same as the copper market that we just looked at, having this back here as wave two here. So that was that was my original thinking, and then uh, yeah. Anyway, I won't go into all of my mind changing and stuff, but um, it is possible that that sits like that, and we're just going into the third wave now. Because sometimes when you're in, you know, when you get your first wave one and two, you normally you pull back quite nicely. Um, when you when you're in the third of the third wave, that's where it gets really powerful. That means that it doesn't normally pull back that much. Um, so I think that we've done all the right things uh, in this point uh, here. Um, yeah, so I don't have a good impulse wave up here. And, and this top here with that little island reversal bar in there makes it a little bit difficult. Normally I forget about those things, you know, uh, and, and, um, and work with it. So I, I still don't know if this... Um, even though we're making new high in copper, we don't need to make it here necessarily in BHP. BHP is big in copper, as you may know. Um, so it's still maybe that could be the, I don't know. I mean, that I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't trust one floating bar up there, you know. So it still could be an A wave here, a B wave back up here, and then a C wave down through here for this. So that's what I, I don't know. Um, I'm not quite sure about that this yet. What I've been sort of waiting for was a... Um, a nice little impulse wave that I could work with in this space. I don't have that yet. But I still could view this as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave up here finishing. So I don't know yet um, how this is going to sort of play out. So um, yeah, you'll need to protect your positions there, but it is looking okay um, because this is the 50-60% retracement level and it's popping its head up above that uh, not that that's the you know it doesn't have to stop and turn on that point um, but um, getting support there would be would be fantastic um, also too we've been looking at Fortescue so uh, we also have a we've traded up through here we took profit here and now we've moved back in over this side over here and we can continue to move in. It's looking very impulsive here. So that's a little glimmer of hope. Um, and what I mean by that is that I can see we've got one and two here and three and four here. So I'm thinking in this case here, we'll go five waves up here somewhere and then we'll see some sort of reaction here, probably find support there and then move up there again. So we can look to... Uh, move in over here. Um, we need to pull this apart on a tick chart, which we'll do. This move here is also in three waves, so that's fantastic. And as that moves up there, then it, it helps it confirm three waves. It still could get ugly in terms of an, an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here. That's possible as well. Um, yeah, so I'll need to recount all of this as well. This FMG has got a completely different count than than the other markets. Uh, so yeah, um, it will need to be treated a little bit differently, but still we just work through the levels and uh, and so on. And also Rio as well. <clears throat> so we talked the same thing about Rio as well. Um, the good thing about Rio is that we've got this, I mean, I'll obviously drawn out here that we can get that ABC pattern coming through here for that. And that's still valid, even though I'm removing it at the moment, just so I can see a little bit. But one of the good things here is that we do have three waves down here. Uh, we went long here, and I have moved the stop up here, as you know before. So we're long in all of these, um, just exposed in some of them. Uh, yeah, look, we need that 120 as support basically, and that's where the supply is here as well. The sellers will be sitting here. Um, so that's going to create, uh, spend a bit of time there. We don't have five waves here yet. We could look at this as wave one and two here. 
and then one and two and three and four and five, uh, five for the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave. So I'll need to look at that on the intraday as well. So that's a little bit of homework I need to do in the background. But generally things are in the right way uh, for, for, for this. So um, I will be taking a position in uh, one of these markets uh, myself uh, uh, shortly. Um, so yeah, whatever that means, um, it's always good to have a bit of skin in the game when you're talking about something. Um, but yeah, we can go on that journey together. So I think that's, um, I think this is really exciting what's occurring uh, with all of this. So with uh, Rio 2, I've had it as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 here for 1 here. So that means that I can remove that uh, 5 there and I'll copy that and put wave 1 here and wave 2 here. So that was my original count. And it was just really nice to... Um, it's funny about trusting yourself with certain things in the market, isn't it? I mean, I'd counted and done all my homework, counted as one, two, three, four, five, and then the ABC, and and that's because this pulled back here nicely, and this is the this is how I got to the BHP count as well, um, and yeah, I suppose it's possible to look at this as the third wave up, but the fourth wave here comes pretty close to to knocking off this top here, so it's a little bit close for that. Um, but it does have the power in it, but I think it's part of, you know, a, a the bigger picture here, so to speak. So I think that we're sort of heading up in this direction uh, as, as well here for this. So that's what I think. Um, and we'll play it out here. I mean, you know, maybe Biden will do something with China, keep pressure, but they'll come to some agreement or something and blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. Um, it's just sort of two married people squabbling in the kitchen, really. Um, so, yeah. So I think it's pretty exciting stuff, actually. So this is where we need to build in, you know, especially on once we get support on the 120. Uh, that's, you know, that's fantastic at that point. So that will take us, you know, if this was like a from 20, this is 2020 to 2021 here for this here, so we're, we're not even halfway through the trend yet. So there's a good couple of years to go with all of this, if this is correct. And I, I, I can't, I feel comfortable with this. I don't feel like I'm wrong or I'm guessing. Do you know what I mean? I'm looking at that, the copper. I'm looking at the, the yeah, the London copper, um, you know, the, the Goldman Sachs Commodity Index, which we'll take another look at how that basket is created. Um, and we'll keep comparing it to stocks and, and, and so on. And we'll... Uh, try to figure out. I mean, the thing about, I mean, obviously this is an iron ore stock, but iron ore they still they still need steel to build things. Um, copper, they call it Doctor Copper because it's just in everything. You know, even the in in the green technologies, it's big as well. Uh, those windmills that they use, there's four tons of copper that go into each windmill. I mean, that's that's huge, isn't it? So I'm not sure what other metals are going into the new green world. Um, but it's something that we need to um, uh, un understand a bit more. Alrighty, uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.